All right, this is Mrs. Body, and we're going to be comparing fractions today. So we have our greater than sign, our less than sign, and equal to sign. Now, some kids get messed up about which one's greater than or less than. Just remember a less than sign, you can spell the word less in it. So that's a, definitely a handy little trick. So I'm going to show you um, a pretty cool shortcut way with numerators and denominators with fractions of how to compare them if they don't have common denominators. Obviously, if they had the common denominator already, we could easily compare the two fractions. But we take the denominator of 1 and we go to the opposite numerator. So we go like this and we multiply them. We get 20. We multiply these. We get 24. And we ask ourselves, who's bigger? And the 24 wins on that, so our mouth goes that way. So we have 5 eighths is a less than 3 fourths. We look here, we do the same thing. We go 10 times 5 is 50. 7 times 6 is 42. Who is bigger is the 50. So we say 6 tenths is a less than 5 sevenths. We go 9 times 6 is 54 and 12 times 5 is a 60 and we say who is bigger and that would be the 60 so we have four my arrow map nine twelfths is less than five six so we can even do something like this let's say uh three six times multiply diagonally Diagonally, oh, they're equal. Boom, boom. That's kind of easy. And then we could do something like cross multiply. A is bigger. You don't have to show the diagonals in the middle. It's just an easy way to do it. And as always, I love math. And DC. So if you happen to run into this problem, and you don't understand this, you can rewind it. I'm going too slow. You can fast forward me. <laughs> 